She was just inches away from a bullet that should have never been fired. Tonight, we're hearing from one student dangerously close to a school resource officer whose gun went off in a Pasco County school lunch line. News Channel 8's Victoria Price is joining us live in Wesley Chapel with the exclusive interview. Well, Keith, the good news is that nobody was hurt here at Waitman Middle School earlier today, but the big concern tonight for a lot of parents is just how much worse this could have ended. I grabbed my tray, he's right here, and boom, it happened. And it scared me so bad that I dropped my tray. Now, Madison Lane says her ears rang for hours after the gunshot rang out in the Waitman Middle School cafeteria. And it really scared me because it just was so loud. The eighth grader was merely a foot from the school's resource officer when the Pasco Sheriff's Office says the deputy's 9mm accidentally discharged in its holster. We're told the bullet ricocheted off the ground and hit a wall. Anything could have happened to her, and I, I'm just so thankful that she's okay and everybody involved is okay. The deputy was very distraught and felt horrible that this situation has occurred. I mean, Lieutenant Troy Ferguson is in charge of school safety for Pasco County. He says investigators are hoping to review surveillance video to determine why the gun went off. When I first heard the gunshot and I was thinking about it, I was like, what if there's a school shooter here and this is where I die? Sixth grader Chanel Patel already suffers from anxiety. Her father worries about how Tuesday's accident will impact her and the safety of her school. If it was negligence, then something needs to be done. And, I think right now and shortly after today's incident, the Florida Education Association tweeted out this statement saying that this should serve as a cautionary note as lawmakers discuss a bill that could put guns in the hands of teachers. Live tonight in Wesley Chapel, Victoria Price, News Channel 8.